Greetings and salutations, YouTube. So, we have a lot to talk about. I've definitely been gone for a little bit, and uh, I, I sincerely apologize for that. But um, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what happened. Uh, we had to move out of our old place. Don't know if you could tell. But we had to move out of our old place because um, Ray um, actually moved in with us. It was kind of a last minute decision to leave our place. Uh, so yeah, we got a new a new setup, and now my setup's in my room, which is awesome. So I have like this awesome backdrop of stuff. I'm also going to Centric, no longer going to KU, so I'm learning that IT stuff. So that's super cool. Uh, meeting lots of cool people there. I'm really I'm really sorry about being gone. Uh, I honestly I definitely should have made some vlogs or something, but it it got away from me, and I'm really sorry, you guys. Um, and I'd love to tell you that it's not gonna happen again, but I'm in a pretty intense program right now that's gonna last about four months, and so I'll make vlogs or simple little gaming videos as I can, but uh, it's not going to be nearly as often as it was going for a while. Like, I was doing four videos a week for a while, and that was awesome, and I was really happy um, with the way things were going, and uh, I think I had a good system worked out, but, um, you know, life happens sometimes, and you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, so I'm gonna make videos as often as I can, probably once, maybe twice a week every other week I'm not sure it will be somewhere around that number something else I wanted to talk about the the main reason this is what pulled me back into uh, definitely inserting myself because I was I was gonna try and just avoid YouTube for my own uh, benefit uh, while I was in school because I tend to get lost in YouTube um, just you know having so much fun making videos and stuff I kind of stop paying attention to school every time that happens and I, I can't afford to do that right now um, so if, if you get any videos during these next four months it's more than likely gonna be vlog or super basic gaming it's not gonna be very long I, I mean I'm sorry about that but this is this is just where I'm at right now and um, you know here in not too long I should be able to dedicate a little more time uh, to this and then be great but the, the, what pulled me back into YouTube was this whole demonetization thing. So from what I understand, uh, and I, I think everyone knows this at this point, but YouTube's been implementing this feature or service um, for years. And they're really just now um, notifying people of it. I think that's good that they are now notifying people because this has been happening for a long time. That being said, since it's happened for a long time, that means people have still been making money, uh, regardless of the situation. So, whether or not this is truly going to hurt YouTubers, I don't know. I think so. Um, I, I, I think so. Um, I don't know if they've ramped up the amount of videos they're demonetizing, but if they've been doing this for years, um, a lot of people haven't noticed it. Uh, they, they're making just as much money as they feel they should be, and no one's complaining, but uh, maybe maybe they're demonetizing more. Um, I definitely understand why people are upset. I, I am also a little upset, but what it comes down to is YouTube is a private company uh, who creates a public service, and so it's kind of a gray area. Um, I guess not really public service, public forum. They, they, they created a public forum. Um, and from what I understand, if you take too strong of points on any issues, you might get your video demonetized. And shit, depending on how they're handling all these videos, commenting on it, this might get demonetized. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. But my, I think, what my main issue really was is uh, democracy specifically. Uh, I'm speaking more of in terms of America here. Um, but democracy is an argument. That's how it works. You think that, I think this, we collide, we talk and talk and talk until we vote, or someone's been convinced, or something. But that, that's how democracy works. Furthermore, the best way people, and specifically adolescent children or children, 
develop their opinions and points of view is not by hearing things they agree with. It's by hearing things they disagree with. Like, at some point in your life, you've probably heard someone say something really intolerant of a uh, race, culture, or religion. At some point, I'm sure. Everyone has, unfortunately. And uh, if you were a decent person, in your mind, you immediately thought, that's wrong. And that thought of that's wrong was much louder than any agreement of anyone spouting, you know, like, tolerance. Uh, you would definitely be like, yeah, of course, but like, you wouldn't be nearly as like, no, I'm adamant, that is not what I want. And that that's how you really find out who you are. I mean, you find out what you don't like. Uh, so I think, I think they're kind of limiting that, or at least they're limiting that on YouTube. And, um, I mean, it's... It's different. I try not to be that radical of a personality or person on YouTube. I try not to, you know, I mean, I'm not going to push you guys any direction politically. I firmly believe in, you know, what I believe. And I also firmly believe in everyone's ability to believe in whatever they feel is right. Um, I don't believe in telling people what to do. I, I think everyone should have their own opinions. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious, or maybe it not, might not be, but some of you guys might be able to tell where I fall in certain situations without me having to come out and directly say it, and, um, you know, if you disagree, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. I, I don't mind at all. If, if anyone disagrees with uh, anything I'm saying about this or anything else in previous or future videos, for that matter, um, you, I mean, you're welcome to disagree. And I am, of course, probably wrong in my interpretation of certain things, maybe even this, or many things. Uh, I am flawed. I am a human. And I, I mean, we're all, we're all subject to misinformation, especially on the big, wide internet. Here, here's what I think would maybe fix the issue. I think if, if this is going to happen more and more and more, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse, which I don't really think it's going to be the case, but let's just say that was the case. Let's go worst case scenario here. So like YouTube borderline shutting down. No one's making money. I think what would save content creators, which I think YouTube needs to keep in mind, without content creators, they don't have viewers. Without viewers, they don't have revenue. So if they don't keep their content creators and viewers happy, both, um, and it has to be both. If they don't keep both happy, they might just get an abandoned website. Um, you know, it, it won't take long for someone else to, you know, come do the same thing uh, and make, you know, some other video service where it is uh, more okay to give your opinion. But, you know, that that may or may not happen, and that's that's what it's like to have a free market. <laughs> what I think would fix it is if companies who wanted to take stances on certain situations, you know? Like, let's say, let's say there was some super bad thing in the news. I'm not even gonna get specific, because, you know, there's so many types of things that happen nowadays, you guys can fill in that blank. But, like, let's just say something super terrible happens in the news, and user C, or whatever, is like, oh, I disagree, I got to throw a gun. Well, let's say company Z, um, also thinks that guy is a terrible guy and blah 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 blah. So they sponsor him. I, I think that's what could or should happen. I think companies should now specifically sponsor channels that they support or agree with. Or like, I mean that already kind of happens. I mean you see it a little, but it's, it's not as big of a sponsorship most of the time as, as what I'm talking. The, the typical sponsorship I see is like some website that sells some gaming products. Granted, I hang out in the gaming side of YouTube mostly, so I don't, I don't really know about other sponsorships. But, um, and you know, they're featuring controllers, grips, stuff like that, and it's cool. It, it's cool and it's awesome, and uh, I, I do love seeing those new products, and I mean, that's a great way to uh, find out, you know, what products, uh, gaming-wise, I want to use. And I, I totally don't mind the commercials they have in their uh, like videos for a brief 10 seconds. I mean, that's part of a sponsorship. But I think companies should take a more active role in sponsoring. I, th I think, I mean, you'd have to be much bigger to get that sponsorship, and that's kind of the thing, because, uh, 
you know, if a company gets behind you, they're anticipating you to make them money. And that's fair. I mean, that's the give and take right there. They give you money and a means to keep your thing going. You bring them revenue from advertisements or, you know, in the case of sponsorship, personal recommendation. But uh, I, I think sponsorships could possibly save it. Other than that, I mean, there's there's not a whole lot, I think, about the whole demonetization thing. I, I mean, it's it's unfortunate, but it's it's legal. I mean, it's it's 100%, what they're doing is 100% legal. And we all agreed to these terms and services, mostly blindly. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there, mostly blindly. I think we all did. Um, but, you know, let's just hope that either A, YouTube remembers that their content creators and viewers are the reason they receive revenue and they try and satisfy them as opposed to the advertisers who are like third tier in this system of importance like the hierarchy of like without like you must have this to have this to have this yeah content creators to have viewers to have advertisers to have revenue that's the order um but let's let's hope that happens or some other streaming service pops up that is a little more free which honestly i would rather not happen because i i do love youtube and i have loved youtube since like the third or fourth grade so i'm i love youtube i'll probably be here until it crashes or it just gets utterly terrible and there's like four channels left but i do love this site and i want to love this company still um and i still kind of do i understand what they're doing i do i just think i th think they should restructure it a little um but you know I, I have no idea what's going on in their corporate setting i have no idea i'm just some kid so like you know i, I could be misinterpreting this thing from their side greatly uh and you know i i don't see it all like the whole picture but let's hope maybe that happens like i said i probably still wouldn't leave youtube i might get it in addition to but i do love youtube i love youtube a lot um or c companies take a bigger role in sponsorship which would be awesome i mean i'd love to be sponsored by any number of companies however me personally i would be a little more picky about who i was sponsored by um yeah, and like that that starts to get into that gray area also, I guess, now I think about it, because if you were sponsored by a company, they could ask you to take certain stances, um, and depending on the contract you sign, you might. However, I would like to think some of the companies I love wouldn't do things like that. But uh, there, there are companies I would absolutely 100% take sponsors sponsorships from, and it, I mean, there's plenty of them, and then there's a lot of ones I wouldn't, just like anyone else. Uh, but I, I think companies could also take a more active role in sponsoring. That's pretty much it for this video. I know I was gone for a while and this video was probably pretty awful because I'm all scatterbrained. I just woke up not too long ago and this is pretty impromptu. So I'm, you know, throwing this together for, I don't know, I just threw it together. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. As always, never forget to smile. And I will see all of your beautiful faces. Later. Hey, Jared, hey, Carl. I'm taking Carl. Oh, stop. I don't think you can wear it. Did he stop? It's the thing you did. Oh, oh, no, damn it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to always carry it on my person. Nope, nope, go back to it. Go back to it. Go back to it. Oh, shit. I need, uh. Oh.